We've come here this evening to gripe and to groan. You can hear us on BC, Mac and iPhone. And what we like best is a really good moan. With a grumpy old man of old England. And we're proud to be grumpy old men. There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. He a grand little lad with young Albert, all dressed in his best quite a swell. We a stick, we a horse's head handle, the finest as Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much of the ocean. The waves, they were piddling and small. There were no wrecks and nobody drowned fact nothing to laugh at at all. So seeking for further amusement they paid and went into the zoo where there were lions and tigers and camels, Odale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace whose nose were all covered in scars and he lay in a somnolent posture with side of his face on the bars. Now Albert had heard all about lions how they were ferocious and wild, and to see Wallace lying so peaceful just didn't seem right to the child. So straightway the brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with the horse's head handle and stuck it in Wallace's ear. You could see as Lion didn't like it, for giving a kind of a roll he pulled Albert inside the cage with him and swallowed the little lad whole. Oh. Now Mother had seen this occurrence, and not knowing what to do next, she hollered, "'Yon lions et Albert!' Pa said. "'E, I am vexed.' They complained to an animal keeper, who said, "'My, my, what a mishap! Are you sure it's your boy as is etten?' Pa said, "'Am I sure? Here's his cap.' The manager had to be sent for. He came and said, "'What's the to-do?' Ma said, "'Yon lions et Albert!' and him in his Sunday clothes too. Father said, Right's right, young fella. I think it a shame and a sin to have our son et by a lion, and after we'd paid to come in. The manager wanted no trouble. He took out his purse right away, saying how much to settle the matter. Pa said, What do you usually pay? But Mother had turned a bit awkward when she thought where her Albert had gone. She said, no, someone's got to be summonsed, so that were decided upon. And off they went to police station, in front of a magistrate's chap. They told him what happened to Albert, and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion, that no one was really to blame, and he said as he hoped the Ramsbottoms would have further sons to their name. At that, Mother got proper blazing, and thank you, sir, kindly, said she. What, to spend all our lives raising children? To feed blooming lions? Not me. Penny Black made this podcast To right and some wrongs To tell a few stories And sing a few songs Now the voice of the people's back Where it belongs With the grumpy old men of all England who are proud to be grumpy old men.